Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Barring technical difficulties, we were we already have also planned uh, videos on Hearts Home and Evolutionary today. Just to let you know, today's going to be a, a busy day, time allotting, and tech, especially technology allotting. Yeah, you know, it's just so weird. And yes, we are in a new area with. Unfortunately, the best service we could get is satellite. It's the only thing we can get out here. And, uh, you know, we're where we need to be for these times because it's go time, guys. It's go time. Indeed. One year ago today, the Georgia Guidestones were damaged by a boom boom. And a lot of people believe that was a message to say it's go time. Maybe so. I mean, we've just seen an ever escalating series of chaotic events around the globe especially since in my opinion 2017 but it does feel like the last year sped up and it feels like right now everything is just it's just getting crazier every day out there we're talking we're going to talk more about the the portal um, over on Hearts Ohm, but you know, all of these things are correlating into this like one day, this one funnel of energy. So it's curious. Absolutely. And, and the dogs are doing what they do. They're so good at that. Thank you for understanding. So let's start over here. Radioactive material reported missing near southern U.S. border. U.S. officials remained silent while Mexican officials issued an alert. A container of Iridium-192 reportedly went missing at the southern border state of New Mexico, prompting Mexican officials to issue a warning and speak out to a local news station in El Paso. While concern was raised south of the U.S. border, American officials haven't said anything. Now questions remain after a recent report that the radioactivity uh, radioactive material was recovered on July 3rd. So, you know, again, w missing equipment. Now, remember, there's a whole bunch of cases like this we've covered over the years where they never have been retrieved. And, you know, of course, we have so many people in this country that we, many of us suspect there's some, some ill intent going on. Why didn't they say a word? Why didn't they say a word? Why didn't they let us know? Why don't they, you know, talk more about the forever chemicals and at least 45% of U.S. tap water? We, we understand there's turbo cancer everywhere. Cancer is just, it's going crazy. Um, besides the ouch, there are other factors too. Obviously, the ouch is the main one, uh, and we'll be talking a little bit more about some numbers concerning the ouch that uh, are being revealed as we go. Yet, all of us, whether we're ouched or not, are, are getting subject to these forever chemicals. You know, we've found there's been studies that talk about mother's breast milk and how toxic it is. And, and then, you know, we still understand that there's people out there spreading Roundup glyphosate, you know, uh, 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 just they're still doing it. They're still trying trying to keep the weeds out of the lawn, and they're putting these chemicals, which end up getting washed down the drain. They they end up in the reservoirs. They end up on your dining room table. They end in, in you. Yeah, isn't it so sad? Because it's all very very well planned, um, and there's purpose to it. There's a reason. A reason for it you know and a lot of people are looking well those that are asleep seem to be looking at things in a way that oh humans are are the problem we are the problem but the control structure that put this entire thing into play you know they could have made different choices there could have been different options and we really have to kind of turn it on ourselves and now it's up to us to make the choices it's up to us to find different options to do things in a different way because if we don't find another path we're just going to kind of be herded down the path of everyone else yeah absolutely and you know i've i've lived in many places and moved a lot and if we include where we've stayed with our rv and stuff um 
you know, we've been all across the southern U.S., everywhere from Carolinas, Florida to California, uh, all the way across and all the way up to Maine, over to Michigan. The The worst water I've tasted, honestly, has been in Florida. War- Florida had the worst tasting water out of anywhere that I've experienced. Now, that was just my own personal opinion. I think the best tasting water... Um, besides our brand new location, you know, which does taste really good. It feels better. Uh, it's not a big public thing. It's not going through a big public processing plant, uh, was actually a well up in the Appalachians. That was delicious water. I mean, that water was so crisp and, and clear, and that was a private well up in the Appalachians. Um, but Florida tasted the worst, honestly. So when we look at these circles, you could see on this map and hopefully there we go. Those big circles are, are where you have the most of these forever chemicals that are not easy to get out of the body. They're not easy to detox. So again, they're, they've been found in mother's milk. And so the baby is being born with this because, again, it's in the mother's milk, it's in her blood, it's in the baby's blood. And you have a whole generation that's coming in already with this tech toxicity that's going to, again, lead to more cancers, more autoimmune disease, more problems with cognitive function, uh, just more health issues. So these these big circles are, are some of the worst. Look, you know, this is South Carolina around Columbia. This is horrible. Horrible. And of course, you know, all, <laughs> can you see New Jersey anywhere in there? It's completely covered. New York City completely covered. Look up over here towards Mass and it's just not good. That's not good at all. Colorado, of course, L.A., you know, so these are very, very toxic things. And then, of course, we see those funny clouds, which, you know, as we've been saying, you know, they, they've done their little wiki for dec- decades. And and yet there's been declassified documents for decades that show that, yeah, there's been a consistent spraying program. Now, what's been found in those in those clouds uh, are a variety of things, aluminum and barium, absolutely, biological components, viruses, bacteria, all sorts of stuff, and of course, chemicals. You know, all this leads to what we see, it's just a massive outbreak of cancer. And here we have over 55 plus injuries reported after a double-decker tour bus collides with an MTA city bus. This is in Manhattan. 55 to 63 individuals injured in this incident. People are acting stranger. There are definitely rash events. And, and, you know, I got to wonder what's at play here. I think there's a combination of things going on. Uh, I think the levels of toxicity in human bodies are, are reaching a peak. I think that there's also all these frequencies that are also reaching a peak, as we saw Again, Biden uh, earlier, about two, three days ago, all his tweets were all about, oh, we're bringing high speed Internet everywhere. And we see this guy freaking out in the plane. Now, we had a woman freaking out earlier. This guy freaks out. And what is interesting is he's pointing at this boy. You know, again, another young man. Remember the guy in the hoodie with the uh, with her? You know, and now you I hadn't noticed this, but this guy says the number of people who seemingly believe it's possible that the crazy plain lady actually saw a shape-shifting reptilian is both disturbing and fascinating. Oh, that's interesting. (sighs) We did the whole video yesterday on NPCs because... You know, I think that's very dangerous to think think of any person as a non-playing character. Yet, I do think that there are, uh, there's always been uh, non-homo sapiens among us. Let's put it that way. And then again, we've seen robots, androids, whatever you want to call them, that can look very, very human too. And whatever they show us, you know, there's there's much more technology available. 
Maybe people are picking up on people and beings that aren't quite right. Maybe they are picking up on, on people that, I mean, maybe in some cases they're actually testing. Well, let's just see if we can, you know, create an android or a robot that would actually make it through TSA. Let's just do it for ha-has. I mean, I, I wouldn't doubt that that would be a trial for you know the control structure a military test or put it up on uh, an airplane or you know maybe people are just being subject to some sort of technology that's making them seemingly go crazy you know and that's what really bothers me is that um i want to be sensitive to what other people might be going through but at the same time I know personally that the government does throw things out there to create a um, an illusion or a situation to get people to follow it and ultimately it leads to a not good scenario so I think uh, it's good to keep an open mind but be wary of what might be out there and be understanding to to people's reactions and i find the whole thing the thing about the npc that's the part that really bothers me i know people are going to have um issues and situations on planes in airports in public places that's probably always going to happen but we never want to look at someone like they are a non-playing character to me that seems to be the theme and that seems to be the information they want out there and that's the part that i find kind of dangerous klaus over at the few was just praising this guy recently as you know prime example of what you can do in the world uh yeah okay china's g follows the step up war planning beijing's security situations become increasingly unstable so again look for their defense quote unquote budget to balloon and look to China flex its muscles as it's going to be the predominant power out there after the war. And China's military, oh, oh, it doesn't, okay, there we go, is leading the world in brain neurostrike weapons. So again, look back to what we were just talking about as, boy, it doesn't like this article or no. something. This, this is exactly what we're talking about. It, is that a test? Is this a test? of this and again when you want to say china you you might as well throw in all the other major uh countries of the world as well the first video going up today is talking about something a polish uh psychic had picked up on when he was remote viewing the mind of number 45 number 45 you guys he, he was you know checking out the mind of number 45 and he discovered there's a group behind all the groups that controls everything and that is truly above the law and it doesn't even matter if they're discovered they're that, that far above the law because they're not human is the answer they're not human yes you know again the, this type of weaponry exists so is that this or is it something else again i think each situation is unique meanwhile cluster munitions have been improved to go to ukraine this is coming from U.S. stocks, drawing down U.S. stocks. U.K. talks tough on war with Russia while admitting it's only got 40 tanks it could put to war. 40! 40, 40 tanks! 40! That might last a few hours. Maybe. Probably not. This is what they've been doing is it's so obvious for anybody that you know can see. That one of the things that this war is doing is it's depleting all the military hardware in the West. Yes, it's depleting uh, Russia too, but China hasn't entered it yet. And there, there's many other nations that haven't entered the conflict yet. And, and again, when we just even look to the Korean situation and think about how advanced China was back during the Korean War, it wasn't very advanced at all. But when China started throwing their troops in, there was just this overwhelming number. You know, one got shot, five more popped up. It stopped the war really quick because it was clear you, you couldn't stop the human avalanche coming. There was just too many of them. 
the only way you could do it would be with N-U-K-E-S's. So, yeah, what they're doing is intentionally drawing down stock and supply. Yes, you know, of course, you know, rearming is always big business and big money. <laughs> you know, Wednesday, Admiral Sir Tony Radican, UK Chief of Defense Staff, broke the bad news to the tough-talking UK. They have no tanks. They have no army. It's just all bluster. Yeah, you know, again, everything is the art of war in so many ways. And yet, you know, all these chess pieces are really being manipulated by the same set of hands. There's already a predetermined result that they have. And, and you know, yes, it, it can come about through different ways. There's going to be uh, the human factor in there where humans can, you know, can choose to do this or that to a degree as long as the outcome is the outcome that the true control structure says. Right. I mean, there's just so many things going on around here. There's so much deceit, so much lies, so many, you know, uh, you know, put this information out there, put that information out there. It seems like the, the more the confusion, the closer we are to something erupting, you know, because that's what they want to create. They want to create this big, bubbling of confusion and everyone wondering what is going on and then something bigger happening that's kind of what i feel is happening it's this uh, bubbling up of strangeness going on you know i've been following this since uh 2017 the weekly uh, u.s navy news where they tell us where the armed forces are as far as the navy goes and, you know, one thing is now, yes, you know, they'll say we're having exercises. Like you see this Coast Guard, you have a Coast Guard up off the coast of Greenland. You have Coast Guard over towards the Straits of Hercules. And you have Coast Guard, you know, over uh, not too far from Kanchaka, the coast of Russia. That's Coast Guard pretty far away from our coast. <laughs> That's the point. I mean, this is this is weird. I, I don't know, you know, what to say about uh, about what we're seeing here. Spread out and weird is is what I would say. Uh, this looks like now the Nimitz has home ported up in in Washington. Uh, you got the Gerald R. Ford over in the Ionian Sea. And, you know, the carrier strike group with the Reagan there is is off the coast of Cambodia, um, Southeast Asia. Yeah, it's spread out. And, you know, they are always doing war exercises now. They're always war gaming. It's nonstop. But the fact that they have so much of the Coast Guard involved hits me as really, really uh, just kind of strange, you know, and that's just m my opinion as a layperson, yeah, and without a, a military, a formal military background, which I'm thankful for. So, according to reports, the cocaine that was found in the White House was found near the Situation Room. That's a secured area. It was not a tour bus. It had to be somebody on the inside. Why don't they just say it was Hunter? Because, I mean, this is so obvious that what they want to do is this is a double middle finger. Ha ha. Nothing you can do about it. Let's piss off the American people. I know. Isn't this? It's, it's like a game to them. It's like how, how far can we push them? You know, let's throw all of these insinuations out there and make the answers obvious and also make it just look like the White House is completely out of control and there is no order to speak of and see what the people do about it if they do anything about it. That's that's what it feels like. It's this, you know, poking and prodding and then checking to see what we are saying about it through, you know, media and things of that nature and see what our emotional uh, kickback is. You, you know, to them, it, 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 it's a game to me anymore is just kind of like watching a movie. Yeah, you know, again, I, I do think at the top they think silly humans a lot. Yes. Silly humans. Yeah, and they really do have fun with it. Again, we, we also touched on that earlier video about the Greek gods and the fact that the Greek gods viewed humanity as playthings. You know, they would play games on humans. They would 
bring misery to humans. They would also bless certain humans. It was just arbitrarily. It was like they were having fun with them in in a very, very um, dark way that didn't show any respect to humanity. And, you know, it kind of echoes Job and the whole book of Job in so many ways. God and the devil just, you know, going to torture and torment Job, see what, what his breaking point is. Yeah, you know, again, when we understand these have always been extraterrestrials, this this is a big reveal. These have always been extraterrestrials. So 45 seems to be um, apparently not thrilled with Kerry Lake now as far as a number two prospect. Top prospects are MTG, uh, w- which would be a, you know, perhaps an odds on favorite um, as well as... Um, uh, the governor of South Dakota. We'll have to see, you know, again, it's, it is curious. They even, uh, threw out the possibility of, and I'm, boy, I'm stumbling. My memory is really, really going here. Um, the girl that was, let me see if I look down here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, they, they say Carrie is just falling apart. There you go. Mar- Marjorie Taylor Greene, Christy Noem, or Tulsi Gabbard, who was also a member of the few at one point in time, but then has been talking against the few. So anyway, you look at it, it's it's just drama, truly. It's just drama. And and one thing we you know did bring up was talking about um, how how much control do they really have? How much control does a president really have? Please, I'd love to see you guys answer that. How much control do you think a president really has? As we see, too, I mean, all you're seeing right now is climate emergency, climate emergency, geoengineering, geoengineering, code red, chemtrails. You know, again... This is in Amsterdam. We see this all over the globe. This is part of what they're turning up. Um, And we will talk more about some visions that um, Cindy has gotten in the last couple of days in upcoming videos. Because, you know, yeah, absolutely. There is a battle between technology and, and Mother Earth. And she wants to make sure that we're able to handle what's coming as as much as possible. And yet... The control structure is truly trying to trigger um, the the great earth changes that will just totally remake the entire surface of the planet. Earthquake swarm rattles Iceland. So this seems to be uh, increasing and they're warning there could be eruptions any day. 4,700 quakes since Tuesday. It does appear something's going to blow. Man found dead outside Death Valley National Park. This happens every single year. As Cindy says, every single year, a 65-year-old man was found lifeless in his vehicle. His vehicle was fine. It just didn't have AC, and the temperature uh, was up in the 120s. And, you know, hey, we were out in a uh, 19-foot camper in Death Valley. We we endured Death Valley and uh, spent 18 months over in that area. It can be challenging. Oh, my gosh. It's so brutal. And and I just feel so bad for people because it's got to be such a horrible way to go. But it does. It happens so often. And what do you do if you're someone, you have a vehicle and there is no AC? It's hard to say. Probably heat stroke happened first and he wasn't able to go somewhere. But it, it happens just far too often. I think they probably should just shut the whole area down during those summer months. I, I don't understand. They, they leave it open. But I, I was remembering when I was younger, um, Russia would have bring vehicles in and they would actually test drive them in Death Valley and just really um, <laughs> put them through the ringer, you know, using Death Valley as like the ultimate um, proving ground. Yes, <laughs> very much so. And I don't know what they tested in for cold, but Death Valley was certainly something that would, you know, give anything a run for its money if it was going to break down it would break down there you know it doesn't take much to melt a wire and have a whole vehicle break down so so yeah i wouldn't drive a vehicle through there i've been through there many times but i i I don't think i ever went through in the middle of summer because i knew the dangers 
And then you got these little guys here on the screen that are so adorable, enjoying being little, enjoying being young, feeling grass on their feet, grounding, 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 watching each other. I mean, this is just cuteness overload, fluffy, furry, yumminess that you just want to hug. Absolutely. <clears throat> so as always, guys, stay prepared. Thank you for your support over on Patreon and Ko-Fi. We couldn't do it without you guys. If you need to make an appointment, it's evolutionaryenergyarts at gmail.com. God bless and namaste. Namaste.